Hello and welcome to the Colorize Pro Referencing Guide. To get started, navigate to the SmiteSoft's Prefabs folder and drag the Colorize Manager Prefab into the hierarchy window. Next, select the Colorize Manager. We recommend locking the Inspector window to dedicate it specifically to Colorize Pro. But don't worry, you can always create a second Inspector window that will function normally. This setup is highly advisable when using Colorize Pro. Now, let's dive into referencing. On the screen, we have three models, a sword, an armor set, and a marble textured pillar. First, let's reference the solid palette sword. As you select the sword, you will notice in the inspector that it uses only a single material. Thus, we will leave the referencing settings at their default values and then click Get Colors. Next, let's reference the marble textured pillar. When you select it, you'll see that this pillar actually uses several materials. This means we need to switch to multi-material object mode. You can then select the desired material you wish to colorize before clicking Get Color. Note that this model contains patterns, so you should use the Pattern Texture workflow instead, which we'll cover in its own dedicated guide. Finally, let's move on to the armor set. Similar to the sword, this model uses a solid color palette, so we'll stick with the solid texture palette workflow. Additionally, this model consists of many items, as it's a modular armor set. You could choose to color each object individually, but that would take a long time and isn't very convenient. Instead, we'll use multi-object editing. This allows you to edit all the modular parts of the model simultaneously, as long as they share the same material. Now click Get Colors. And just like that, this model is ready for editing.